everybody! It is time for day number six and wines number seven on our lists. So we're about halfway through, I think, math, I don't know, halfway through our list for the 12 days of Christmas. So let's just jump right in and get started with our number seven wines. Oh. All right, so for the Tasting Rooms Top 12 list of 2020, our number seven wine is one of the first sweet wines that we ever created at Victorian Board, and that is Ouvelina Blanc. Now, Ouvelina Blanc is a Niagara blend, so it's going to taste like eating a grape right off the vine. Secretly, but not so secretly, I call it adult Welches because to me, Niagara's and Concords, that's that's what they taste like to me. It's just Welches grape juice with a little bit of a kick. Um, but so the Ovalina Blanc, it's been around forever. It is definitely among the favorites for our customers, well, it's number seven on the list, so that kind of makes sense. Um, and honestly, I don't do anything with these. I don't make cocktails. I don't pair them with food because I don't really drink this one. Um, I am not a fan of Niagara's, um, so I kind of stay away from them. So yeah. I really sorry, but I don't have any good suggestions on what you can really do with them um, because I, I just don't drink it. It's me being honest with you. There's nothing wrong with this wine, especially for people who really like that grapey flavor. Just, I'm not one of them. So we're just gonna move on. We're gonna let that go. Ouvelina Blanc, number seven for the tasting room. We're gonna we're just gonna put that over here now. Okay. So for the number seven wine in our staff pick list, something completely on the opposite end of the spectrum. Whereas the Ouvelina Blanc is pretty sweet, the staff pick for number seven is pretty dry. And the wine for number seven for our staff is our Pinot Noir Rosé, or as we sometimes call it in the tasting room, Rose Noir. And well, we can already tell by the label, it is Pinot Noir, but it's also blended with some uh, Chardonnay as well. So that's why it's such a pretty color. I like it because it's not your typical um, color of rosé. Usually they're that really light pink. This one's got a little bit more depth to the color and I really enjoy that. And it's really dry. You get some nice raspberry and a little bit of cranberry. It's got a nice tart finish to it which actually makes this perfect for a Thanksgiving dinner. Think about I mean, just the cranberry sauce and turkey, how they well go well together. Well, that's this in, in a bottle kind of, um, it's just not as sweet. Uh, so I really like it with Thanksgiving dinner. This is one that I've tried to make cocktails with because honestly, I, I don't know why I haven't tried to make cocktails with I try to make I don't put booze in anything, so I'm not sure why I haven't done it with this one yet. But again, with the Chardonnay, I guess I have two wines that I really have to concentrate on figuring out cocktail recipes for. But I'll work on that, I promise. There's got to be a million recipes out there that include rosé. Um, I just don't know them. So yeah, that's about that. It's a quick, quick one today. So make sure you come into the tasting room and mention these videos of course get your five extra five percent off and stock up on the Ouvelina Blanc and the Pinot Noir Rosé or aka Rose Noir that's what we call it in the tasting room that's what it says on the menu um, come in stock up on these or any of your favorite Victorian board wines mention me and these videos tell them I'm nuts who knows and get your extra five percent off so that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, join me tomorrow for day number seven, wines number six. Flip flop it tomorrow. These numbers are starting to get really confusing for me. But anyway, join me tomorrow. 
and we'll see what's next on our list. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and whine a little. You'll feel better.